Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Days uh, back with another tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'll be talking about uh, WordNet and synsets. So what are synsets? Synsets are basically sets of synonyms of a word. So let's say we have uh, something called a fruit. Then all the synonyms that come up with fruit uh, form this set. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't actually come up with a synonym of uh, fruit. But yeah, uh, let's uh, start this tutorial because uh, you know you're in for a linguistics class in this uh, tutorial. So you'll be learning a lot of linguistics in this one tutorial. So get ready for that. So what WordNet is is that it's a base. It's, it's basically a big dictionary. So it it has a it, it has a lot of words. It's not all. So it'll also give you definitions. It'll it'll give you what kind of word it is, like what part of speech it is, and all that. So uh, if you're worried uh, whether I mean if if you don't know whether you uh, you'll be able to access it or not, or if you find any kind of trouble, uh, just check uh, for uh, this. Uh, I mean the way I'm going to show you over here. So what you know need to do is that you just uh, go to NLT key underscore uh, data. So in this, let's see what all we have. So you see that we have something called Corpora. So let's uh, go there and when I enter Corpora, I see something called WordNet over here, as you can see. Oops, sorry. So WordNet and WordNet.zip. So if you don't have this, you need to download it using uh, the I mean, uh, the console that pops up when you say NLTK dot uh, download as I showed in the first uh, tutorial well of course I didn't show you the process completely but yeah it's uh, it's it's not it's a no-brainer so you can just uh, get ahead with it but after that uh, after you're sure that you have a wordnet so I'll just show you how wordnet is so uh, inside wordnet we have a lot of uh, things as you can see we have adjective adverbs all the kind, all, all the, all the, all these linguistic stuff. So, anyways, uh, let's get started with our uh, tutorial. So now that we have made sure that we have this uh, corpora, let's get started. So I enter Python and then I say from an NTK dot corpus that you just saw. I'll import something called WordNet that you also saw just now. So after that, after import is complete, what we need to do is that we need to give a word. So for now, let's uh, let me just say uh, let let me just uh, call this word. Uh, I mean, um, word. Let's say word one is equal to weapon. Okay. So this is my this is the word of my interest. So weapon. So I have imported something called wordnet. Now what I do is that I'll say synonyms array. So the array of synonyms is wordnet dot synsets. Uh, by the way, this is my variable. This is the variable that I am uh, defining, and these are the methods. So wordnet dot synsets and uh, for word one. Word one is nothing but a weapon. I'm just writing it all here because you know word one is a variable. So after this, we get a lot of uh, uh, synsets, and if I if I check for that, you know you saw uh, you see that we have two synsets. So it took a lot of time. I expected it to have a lot more than just two synsets, but it doesn't matter. So it has two synsets right now. So one is a noun, the other one is also a noun. Uh, as you can see over here, there is n and n, so it, it means noun, just like our dic dictionaries have those uh, small n's. So anyways, uh, let's choose a word. So let's call it a uh, word of interest. This is again a variable of my own choice and uh, you can call it anything. So let's say WI which means word of interest is let's say the sin array's uh, first element which is zero index. So now WI is nothing but uh, sin set weapon and, and zero one. This zero one means the first sin set. Anyways, uh, so moving forward, so what we can do is that we can just say wi dot definition. So I'll just so bingo. As you can see over here, you have any any instrument or instrumentality used in fighting or hunting. So that is what is meant by a weapon. If you didn't know, so note it down. So anyways, uh, going forward, so what we have is that wi dot name. 
which is not nothing but the name of this inset which means i mean uh, the uh, which actually gives you the part of speech as well so weapon dot n dot zero one so this is just the name and uh, you can also have something called uh, uh, you know uh, part of switch which is pos and if you give it the method it will return n so if it returns a it means an adjective of course this won't run sorry so a means an adjective r means an adverb and uh, v means a verb so as of now there are uh, four major parts of speech but uh, i guess we have more than that in english or any other any other language for that matter so uh going forward so what uh, uh what i would like to talk about specifically is the there are things called hypernyms and hyponyms all right so let me just scroll so hypernyms and hyponyms all right so what what are hypernyms and what are hyponyms uh, these are like uh, crazy uh, names right so in linguistics what happens is that what happens uh, generally is that let us say uh, this is just an example there is not a crude definition to what hyponyms and hypernyms are so hyponyms are uh, hypernyms are something which are more abstract th uh, than a given word and hyponyms are which are more specific and not much abstract uh, 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 related to a given word. So, for example, uh, let me say I I say something like a cat. All right. So the word cat, uh, it, it's hypernym. Hypernym can be animal, you know, or living being, or something like that. You know, because it's more abstract, not more specific, but it's like it's like a parent parent name for this, and a hyponym. Uh, with the O, hypo, hyponym can be something like uh, a tiger, probably because a tiger is a cat, and uh, a panther or anything related to a cat, which is much more specific. You know, like cat food, probably, probably. I'm not sure. So, uh, why I'm talking about this is that uh, because we have something called. Uh, uh, word of interest and we have uh, methods which shows hypernyms and hyponyms as well so let's say uh, i i call something called wi dot hypernyms you see it says instrument so what what is the meaning exactly so i need you guys to understand this in depth so what it means is that weapon is a kind of an instrument all right so instruments can be of all types you have microscopes you have laptops you have everything so if you consider a laptop as an instrument, uh, I'm sorry if you don't. So uh, any other instrument, so for example, you have a telescope. So a weapon is also an instrument according to, I mean, uh, it, it it's a weapon's hypernym is an instrument basically. So uh, instrument is a bigger, uh, major su uh, superset. All right. So now if I, if I say hyponyms, uh, if I run a hyponyms, you see that we have more specific stuff like you know uh, more specific uh, weapons like bow bow and arrow brass knucks fire ship flamethrower greek fire gun gun is the most famous stun gun spear sling tomahawk and all these things you know so these are more specific and that's why they are called as hyponyms Whereas uh, hypernyms are, you know, what you've just seen, uh, they are the parent class. So uh, what we can do is that we can go, uh, we can select a particular, uh, so th since this is an array, we can select a particular, uh, uh, you know, hyponym and we can further uh, search uh, what, what we require. So we can uh, search its definition again. So I forgot to, you know, store it as a variable. So, all right, so now what I'll do is that I'll just say definition. So as you can see over here, it says a weapon consisting of arrows and the bow to shoot them. So this was a quick uh, tutorial on how you can uh, search hyponyms and hyponyms. And one more thing, wait a second guys, so I forgot about that. So you have something called uh, hypernyms path, you know, uh, this is another method but it seems to be not working right now uh, <coughs> uh, 
all right so it, it doesn't it, it isn't working so what it should basically show is that it should uh, show you the path between the uh, the existing word to its hypernym so how it is related so i'll, I'll check it out i'll uh, see what's the problem and i'll i'll uh, put that in the description below so don't worry about that and you can uh, also make sure that you know you you search it online if at all i don't give up a fair solution anyways uh that's the quickest uh, way i could uh, explain what hypernames hyponames what uh, word net and sin sets are so i i would like it if you guys go ahead and practice this and just you know go ahead and test it out on various stuff and you know classify stuff and you know keep exploring or uh, come up with some application idea and all that all right guys thanks a lot for watching that's it for this video if you really liked it give it a thumbs up and also uh, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel if you're new all right guys thanks a lot for watching bye bye